First time I got to work with Slipknot was in 1999 when I was sent out to shoot their very first Kerrang! cover. They took us to their hometown, Des Moines. It was kind of a on the road piece and just sort of really get into the, the heart of what Slipknot were all about. I got to really gel with Joey Jordison and, uh, and Sean Crayon just about visuals and, and things and they, they said to me, you get it, you get us. So that was really cool, that was a, a good start. They definitely become the character when the outfits go on. You can almost see a change in them. I mean, I was backstage with them once in Scotland and they were hitting each other before they went on stage to, uh, to get pumped up for the show. So I've seen some strange things with those guys. In 2008, I went to Iowa to shoot the new look Slipknot for the All Hope Is Gone album. Nobody had seen these new masks yet. And I saw Corey Taylor's new look and it was laid out flat on the table and I thought, oh, she looks a bit rubbish. But then he put it on and when he wrapped it around his head and did it up at the back, he looked at me and he could see my face and he went, I know, right? I just thought it looked horrific. There's something about the dead eyes in the mask and almost like from like a First World War hospital dressing or something, um, especially with the jacket he was wearing because it kind of looked like a uniform. The shot of Corey in the field was taken just as the sun was going down. I'd actually selected that location to do a shoot with the whole band, but Sid had hurt himself doing something in his basement. He cut his head open and he had to go to hospital and have stitches put in. So. I was waiting for him to turn up so I could get this band shot done and it was getting darker and darker and in the end I just said to Corey, we should go and do some pictures over there before it gets too dark and he was like, yeah sure, so on, on went the mask and we went over and it was really simple lighting, just one soft box to the left of me, the sun going down in the background. I took a series of pictures, literally over about two minutes because by the time I finished it was actually dark, but that particular shot was the one and it happens with photographers every now and again. You take a picture and you think, that's it, that's it, I've got it. And that, that was that shot. In 2010, I did an exhibition with some other photographers and I was going through the shots that I had. And I thought I could just do a whole Slipknot exhibition, which is why a few years later I did do a Slipknot exhibition, which led on to the Slipknot book that I did. I think of all the bands that I've shot over the years, Slipknot has to be my number one.